Well, it's begun. It absolutely has begun. What I call the David Beckham treatment is going to be unleashed upon Carl Palmer. And the first thought and feeling I have as an England fan, and when I say that, in case anybody wants, anybody wants to clip it up, fan of the England national football team, some weird people online. My first thought is, why can we never have anything nice? Why can't we have anything good? Why every time that we get excited about a player, a team, a manager, do we as fans, and along with our media, want to ruin it? Genuinely. It gets, it absolutely gets on my nerves. It really does. Look, do me a favor first of all, hit the like button and subscribe. If you haven't done it yet, turn the bell notifications on as well. But Cole Palmer's going to get the sorts of media hatred, 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 hate that David Beckham got. He is going to be treated in a very, very similar way. I want to take a look at, take a look at this video to begin with. Let's take a little look. No, no player had more goal involvements last season. No player had more goal involvements last season. It's mad, isn't it? That and, is mad. And FPL points. Say again. And FPL points. <laughs> right. I quite like his sort of monotone, deadpan expressions. I also like the fact that he doesn't come across as overly media trained. He just says what he thinks. And if he gets asked a question and doesn't understand it, he says, what? Another part of this video, he's asked about a date. He says, what do you, well, how are you with dates? And from Gabriel Clark. And he just says, dates, dates. And I think he didn't know what he meant. Is in remembering dates, going on dates, maybe even fucking eating dates. I don't know. But he was a little confused, right? There's nothing wrong with that. He's a 22-year-old young man. He wears his heart on his sleeve and he behaves himself. But I'm already starting to see the rhetoric of, and when I said the David Beckham treatment, is he thick? Is he stupid? Typical dumb footballer. Typical dumb athlete. He's silly. He's dumb. Beckham was labelled with that my whole life. And it, was, it wasn't just by the mainstream media. Everywhere you went, if someone didn't like Man United, if someone didn't like David Beckham, he's thick, he's stupid, he's dumb. Have you seen what he's done? Have you seen what Beckham has achieved? Not just as an athlete, but as a businessman. You cannot be dumb and achieve that. This is the reason that he'll get called thick is we have this habit in this country of attacking our working class individuals. And that is what we are doing here. And fans are no help with this either. They're not. Let's look at this man's record, okay, for a second, with Chelsea. This is nothing short of phenomenal. This is over the last 10 years in the Premier League. He's already ranked number seven for the amount of goal contributions in the last 10 years for Chelsea players. But look at the amount of games he has played in comparison. Pedro above him there, 100 games or so more. Mount, nearly 100 games more. Fabregas, 100 games more. William. What, 150, 160 games more? In Hazard, yes, he's got double the amount of goals and assists as him. But look how many more games, 130 plus more games than Cole Palmer. Whether you like it or not, whether you hate Chelsea or not, whether you hate the England national team or not, this kid is special. We, I feel like when it comes to him wearing an England shirt, we should be nurturing him. As much as there's part, as a United fan, I don't want to see him do well for Chelsea. He could do wonderfully for England. Should have got so much more game time at the Euros. Maybe the outcome would have been different if he was given longer on the pitch. Maybe if, you know, the few decisions like that from Southgate with players not taken, who he picked during the tournament. This lad is phenomenal. And you're starting to see the same regurgitated, tired, horrible opinions of, damn, Palmer has just four non-penalty goals against the top 15. I mean, in how many games? <laughs> That's the first question. In how many games? In how many games? Plus, are you counting the goals that he's created? The chances that he has set up? How about all the other metrics that are important for an attacker? Now, I know some people hate the names of these stats, but I was actually watching 
uh, Rashford training the other day. He's put out a video. And some people were triggered by that, but he did. And you could hear his coach, who's a professional coach, during the drills, telling him to do certain things. And one of the things he kept on telling Rashford to do in a drill was scan and look. Now, in my day, my coach would have probably said, keep your head up. And we knew what that meant. It meant look around. It's just the language has changed, but it means the same thing. I don't get why we have to be triggered about it. But this man's approach play, his ability to break lines, i.e. play key passes into dangerous areas for his team to open up defenses, got a good dribble rate. You know, people talk about, oh, entries into the box doesn't mean anything. Well, it does. Someone like Anthony, who plays for Man United, doesn't beat his man, doesn't carry the ball into the box because he's not good enough to. Having a player that can beat an opponent, burst into the box and hopefully cut back to an opponent is a really, a really, really, really key component of a football player. This kid is brilliant. And as soon as you start seeing non-penalty goals come up, it's crazy. As soon as you start seeing non-penalty goals, or if you take away his assist, how good is he? Well, if you take away that good stat and his availability and his consistency and his dribbling and I'll take away all these things that make him look really good. That's what you get. You know, people try doing it to KDB. Take away his good crosses. Take away his good corners. Take away his good free kicks. I right, take away his ability to drive with the ball for a minute, right? Okay, remove his, how good he is with passing. Take away how good he is with passing, right? Then how good is he? <laughs> Fuck. Take away Messi's first touch. Take away his dribbling ability. Take away his playmaking ability. And take away half his goals. Then tell me how good he is. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Take away Floyd Mayweather's ability to bob and weave. Take away his timing. Take away his defensive attributes and take away his absolutely perfect counter-punching ability. Then show me how good he is. You see how dumb this is? Lewis Hamilton. Take away his ability to drive. Right? Take his driving license away. Take away his reflexes. Add about 30 pounds of weight on him. Then see how good he does at Formula One. What are we doing here? This is crazy. But it's because what we can see with Carl Palmer is he's become one of the faces of the Premier League. And as soon as this happens, rivals, of course, do it. And I understand why rivals do it to a degree, because you're always trying to undermine the opponent. But it's always stupid stuff because you'll end up. This is why I don't participate anymore. I think what we as fans say, not me individually, I don't think I'm special. Why is my watch is suddenly saying I'm walking. I'm not. I've got to win that. That's weird. Anyway, um, as fans, I get we always want to banter each other. But I believe what we say as fans holds a certain element of weight. It's definitely why we all put it on the internet. So, you know, there's a lot of YouTubers in the minute that are doing these videos. And there's going to be more in the coming. I guarantee you in the next week you're going to see more of them. Oh, Robbie only does his content for money and views. Goldbridge only does it for money and views. DR Sports, money and views. Saeed, money and views. Do you know what's really funny about attacking people? Like, these people. They're saying it on videos that they monetize. <laughs> I love it. But I think what we all... Generally speaking, we all hold, we all believe that fan opinion holds weight. It's why we do what we do. Because it hold, holds weight, you've got to sometimes think more carefully about your agendas. Because you end up undoing your own legends. You can end up undoing your own club's history in the pursuit of banter or knocking someone's legs from underneath them. It's pathetic. You can do what you want. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. This is not me trying to shut people's speech down, but it's me challenging it as crazy. And look, Chelsea, I saw this from a Chelsea fan today. If I said Noni Madweke is better than Saka, Chelsea fans would roll out the red carpet for me. But because I say he's better than Cole Palmer, I'm getting spanned with hate comments. And by the way, no one should be getting hate comments for an opinion. But my question to this individual is, why are you even starting that conversation? And that's the one bit I'm kind of not understanding. I see a lot of it now where it's sort of, oh, you know what, Noni's clearer Palmer what's your mileage in saying that I, I, I don't I, I'm at a point where I don't quite get it and the reason I say that is I get if you're not happy with your club there's problems but the way it's sometimes framed I just don't always see the mileage in it what are you getting out of this debate 
I would say that dribbling in wide positions, and you could argue Nonny's better. I don't think any other element of the game, Nonny Madwaker is. I did think Madwaker was really good for England when he came on the last two games. But a genuine question. I'm not trying to catch anybody out. I don't think I'm the oracle that knows everything. I really don't, even though a lot of people like to spread that rumour. What is the mileage of the kind of player wars within your own clubs? Where does it get you? What does, what does it achieve? When I look at the, most of the successful teams around at the moment, this rarely happens within their fan base. Just putting it out there. But look, the Carl Palmer hate, as I like to call it, it's a little bit, a little bit sarcastic, a little bit uh, of a joke. But generally, the hate is there. The media is coming for him. The David Beckham treatment is going to come. The non-penalty stats are coming out. What has he done in his first season? He's only got four goals against the top teams. Ignoring the assists, ignoring the penalties, which, by the way, they're real goals. Same as assists from corners. They're real crosses. They're not for gazy. Carl Palmer, keep doing your thing, mate. Don't change who you are. Viewers, hit the like and the share button. Make sure you are subscribing. Chelsea getting good again. You see the hate rising. You see the bad banter. You see the woeful analysis. Hit the like and the share button. Let's go. Peace.